One thing I've been asked many times is people using the SunSync without a battery. Well, first of all, it is designed to be used with a battery. Um, so it's very important because it's a hybrid inverter. So it's all about battery. However, it can be used without a battery, without a problem. Um, you've just got to understand when it's used without a battery, it works like a normal grid tied inverter. Many people call it a string inverter. So you connect, the grid connection is both input and output, both on the grid connection, like any normal string inverter. You don't connect the grid to the grid connection and the output to the load, because that will give you lots of problems. The other thing is, um, it really functions well when you've got grid. If you haven't got any grid power, then you must have a battery. It's impossible really, because as soon as you get a cloud, you get a drop in the power, you get anything, it's gonna cut. Um, and it will reboot itself. So it's gonna be really pretty useless. Even if you just use a small battery as a buffer, you've got to have a battery on, on it. Um, so in that case, it, you operate slightly differently. But if you use it without a battery, with no battery at all, it's fine. And it just works as a normal grid tied inverter. You make sure you select no battery on the battery setup and everything work, will work fine. The sun will shine and it will produce electricity, which you can use on the grid side. You can put your CT coils to limit your export. Everything is fine, no problem. It won't boot up and down because it's drawing, when it's not, there's no sun, it will obviously draw a small amount of electricity from the grid just to keep its systems running. It's quite small, but when there is sun, then it will feed it back and you can quite happily use the power locally on your house or your premises or whatever. Later on, when you've got batteries, then you can connect the battery and then you can have the benefit of the UPS feature. Um, but please don't try and use the inverter um, off grid without a battery because you ask him, even just use, if you're gonna do that, just use a small battery, just use one pack, pack. Also be aware when you are using a battery, look at the C rating of the battery. The C rating is the maximum charge or discharge the battery can take. So typical lithium batteries are C 0.5. That means the most you can charge it is 0.5 of its rating. And the most you can discharge it is the same. A typical AGM battery are much smaller. And it, I would, on the safe side, on a solar AGM, 0.1 uh, C. Um, some of them claim 0 0.25. 0 0.1 is safer. Remember, most solar AGM batteries are designed for depth of discharge, not for high current, like a, like a car battery. So a car battery has a massive C rating because it can ch turn the engine over and it only lasts for a very short period. But they're not designed for depth of discharge. So a solar battery is designed for depth of discharge and they do tend to be different. So look at your, look at your C rating, but you can use, you know, an AGM battery would be fine as a, if you're looking for something cheap or, or a single lithium battery is not a problem. Um, but certainly if you want to use the UPS feature and you want to be off grid, you must have some battery power. Um, you, it won't work without anything, but you can use the inverter without a battery, but it's grid tied only. So I hope that's useful. So thank you.